Welcome to another deep relaxation offering. My name is Kenyatta A, and I will be guiding you in the practice. The practice of deep relaxation is rooted in the Plum Village tradition. If you're new to deep relaxation, I recommend watching the deep relaxation introduction video before you begin, where you will receive some guidance on the practice. There is a link to it at the top right of this video or in the description below. In this relaxation offering, I will be guiding you in a simple but deep process of deeper connection and ease in the body. Sometimes in the chaos, you may forget some simple foundational truths. Let's get started. I invite you to find a comfortable position. It could be standing and leaning against a wall. It could be sitting or lying down. The invitation is to make yourself comfortable for the next 20 or so minutes. If you find it helpful, you may use a weighted blanket or any other objects that bring you comfort. If there is an area of the body that needs support, you may gently place your hand or both hands there with the intention of offering support. You may already have a self-soothing gesture that you may want to do during deep relaxation, such as one hand on the chest and one hand on the belly. You may choose to close your eyes or keep them half open with a softened gaze. Whatever works for you. You may tune into the body and what it wants to do. It may want to wiggle, rock, sway, you may want to raise your shoulders and allow them to drop, If it feels right for you, as you breathe in, fill your body with air, and as you breathe out, allow a sigh, a grunt, whatever sound that wants to escape to flow out. You may do this a couple times.
If it feels right for you, you may hum, and like an x-ray machine, allow the vibration of your hum to pass over your body from head to toe and from toe to head, sweeping your body. If you can't hum, let my hum be your hum. You may do this a few times. When you're ready, notice how your body is being supported by a chair, bed, floor, etc. You may notice points of contact with the surface. Whether sitting, lying, or standing. You are invited to notice what's beneath you, what's silently there for you. Maybe you're noticing your feet, legs, thighs, bum, back, shoulders, neck, head being supported for a moment. I invite you to take that in, acknowledging I am being supported. We will now slowly move through the body. I invite you to notice where your feet connect with your legs at the ankles. Taking a moment to take that in. My feet are connected to my legs. You may take note of where your legs connect with your thighs, at the knees. Yes, my legs are connected to my thighs. With an affirming nod, you are invited to take that in.
moving to where your thighs connect with your torso at the hips, pausing to take that in. These areas are sometimes holding tension. You are invited to take in the fingers connected to the hands at the knuckles. Take in all of these points of connections in. Where the hands connect to the lower arms at the wrist, smilingly taking that in. Connect to the upper arms at the elbows, taking that in. The upper arms connect with the torso at the shoulders with the in and out breath, taking that in. Where the head connects with the torso at the neck, slowly taking that in. Let's zoom out for a moment and take in all the points of connection. Neck, shoulders, elbows, wrist, knuckles, hips, knees, ankles. The natural wisdom of connection built into the body, taking this in. Remembering your human inheritance of connection. Remembering your human body.
assumptions becomes one step of unlearning. The sands of time, strength, each step, violence, peace, peace, holy, race and racism, humanity, each step I begun to the step of hurt becomes one step of healing, one step a battle of assumptions becomes one step of unlearning. Sleeping, homophobia and sexism. Transformation.
transformation. To have this human body is a miracle. Touching the wonder and wisdom of this very body right here, right now. Holding your body with care and respect. You can find safety and comfort in this very body that carries so much. You can find wholeness in this very body. You can find joy and contentment, peace in this body. Taking refuge in your own body. As we come to the end of deep relaxation, you may turn off your device and continue to rest if you wish. Otherwise, I invite you to bring your awareness to your breathing, to your abdomen rising and falling. With each breath, I invite you to wrap up the goodness you have cultivated in this practice, knowing that you can choose to come back to it at a later point. This goodness is inside of you. It's always there for you. Following your breathing, become aware of your arms and legs. You may want to move them a little. You may gently stretch them. You may wiggle your fingers and toes. You 
Imagine your inner baby stretching, squirming, wiggling after a rest. If you're lying down, you may roll over to one side, preparing to sit up. If you're sitting or standing, you may gently, slowly rock or sway to introduce movement back into the body. If you're lying down, and you feel ready, you may slowly sit up, swayingly, lazily. I invite you to reorient to your space, locating yourself in time and space. Looking at your space even if you've been in it for 10 years. The invitation is to look again, see again all that's supporting you. A roof over your head, a place to sit, a device to connect with others, maybe your eyes are drawn to something pleasant in your space. You may pause to take it in. When you're ready, you may slowly resume your activities, bringing this energy you have cultivated with you. I would like to take this time to thank you for your practice. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you feel rested, nourished, resourced. May you continue to nourish and nurture yourself each day. If you have not yet done so, please consider subscribing to my channel, liking, sharing, and leaving a comment below. Until next time, Kenyatta bowing out.